Hi guys, welcome back. I want to talk today a little bit about why you're doing ACCA and how you keep motivated in order to do so. So what I want to think about is your mission statement for why you're studying ACCA and what you hope to achieve by doing so. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to write out a list. That list is going to be all the reasons that you're doing ACCA. The second thing I want you to do is write a second list of what you want to achieve from doing the ACCA qualification. Okay, once you've done that, I want you to look down each of those lists and I want you to think about what they relate to. Do they relate to you or do they relate to other people other things, other organisations. For example, have you got a list that says, I am studying ACCA in order to impress my boss, in order to um, get some validation from my parents, in order to prove to that teacher who didn't think I could do it that I can, okay? And those reasons I want you to stroke off your list, okay? Because the ACCA qualification and achieving it is not easy and it may be a short term fix for you to focus on those external things in order to motivate yourself but it will not take you through the whole qualification. You must be doing this qualification for yourself. So I want you to take from those lists all of the things that relate to you. What are you personally going to achieve out of it? Now, that might be that you might achieve a career promotion, but it won't be focused on impressing a boss or something external like that. It's got to be for you. So go through those reasons and I want you to prioritize them. So first of all, get rid of all the ones that relate to other people. Secondly, prioritize the ones that relate to you. I then want you to take the top three and those are the three things I want you to write essentially as a mission statement for your ACCA journey. So I want you to write those three reasons and those are your go-to reasons. When you're feeling down, when you're not sure what you should be doing or you know you just don't want to study, you go to your mission statement, those three reasons and you remind yourself why you're doing it. Those three things should be things that are enough to motivate you to succeed throughout the qualification. So remember, don't focus on other people. Focus on why this is important to you. What do you seek to achieve from doing this? And that will be much more able to sustain you throughout the qualification and your journey through it.